Hi, I'm teen correspondent Finn with the Kids Access Press team here at the 2019 Tribeca Film Festival. We're here for the world premiere of After Parkland. What was it like being in the documentary? Honestly, I think it was a blessing. It was, it helped me a lot just seeing like all the people together, the community really like invested in the film and everybody there for each other. It helped me a lot more than I really thought it would. It was great to be a part of something like this with a, such a great team behind us working to help us spread our message. It was really difficult, very emotional. I mean, it's hard watching anybody go through this kind of loss. What you see in the film is the strength of each one of them. Uh, in particular, Victoria, who lost her boyfriend, Joaquin. Honestly, Emily and Jake made it feel like we were a little family. I trusted them completely, telling my story the way that I wanted it to be told. I felt taken care of. It was a, a labor of love. We spent months with these families. They opened their doors to us. And we're very thankful for them um, trusting us with their stories. What lessons did you learn, and what lessons do you want the audience to take away? What happened was, we learned from them, you know? We learned what it means to be strong, what it means to be a family, what it means to give each other strength. What do you hope going forward? The biggest push I want to make is for school safety and mental health. I just, I think there is such a big stigma about getting therapy and getting help, and I feel like if we start to derail that and take that away, then more people would get help. I hope we see some major gun um, violence prevention legislation, um, find some common sense on that, and we've already seen that, already seen some of those changes start, like with S42 universal background checks in the House and the Senate um, that I'm working on right now with my other friends who are fighting this gun violence. Overall, I just hope to see a generational shift in how we think about politics and how we see young people and our own